EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Tiburon Championship. Hello again and welcome, Rich Lerner, alongside my friend and colleague, Frank Navalo. We're here in the state of Nevada getting set for what should be a wonderful day of golf. Wolf Creek Golf Club is the site for the action. And Frank, this really is the definition of desert golf. It is spectacular. The green oasis, Rich, amongst this canyon here is just something to be seen, really. Uh, it's hard to imagine you can actually build a golf course like this. Elevated tees, huge changes in elevation, and you're sort of weaving your way around this magnificent sort of topography. And uh, to be honest, I've never really seen a golf course like this. It's just an oasis. Amazing. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Rich, it's not all gone. This is where you can pick yourself off the canvas. Start to string together one or two good shots in a row. Wipe away all the negative thoughts from the bad start and just try to focus on what's in front of you. Solid strike right in the heart of the green. Booty try up next. Getting set now over the putt. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par, and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect, but it's going to hurt the course. Steady, solid, and at one under par right now. Frank, the par 3 8 really is Wolf Creek in a nutshell. It's hard. And it's really pretty. It is, and it's really long, too. Uh, just under 250 yards off that back tee. Slight bit of elevation, but uh, you can see from the tee, obviously, where you don't want to go and where you do go. Um, if you're a little, uh, well, tender of heart, then aim for the right side and avoid all that water down the left. Frank, how about 16 of the 18 holes here at Wolf Creek feature elevated tees? And that gives you those, those constant vistas. Um, you've got to take a camera, actually, when you, when you go and play Wolf Creek, because if you stand on some of these tees, you, you don't just see the one hole in front of you. You look around and you go, this is amazing how you can put a golf course in this area. Well, that's how you play the game right there. You knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Mm. This is an awkward length. Just seems an absolute waste. Got to take your time. So a tester from four feet. Good par right there, Frank, and pretty good position on this leaderboard. In that uh, sort of top echelon of the game right now. It'll be interesting too. A birdie or two coming in. Had the position. Stepping up to the shot here at the ninth, it's a par four, 390 yards. It is anything other than straight off the tee because of all these sort of undulations and curvature on the fairway. Uh, you'd think well bunkered, but the last bunker on the right side there, longer hitters, they can nearly fly that, just over 300 yards. Either that shorter hitter just played that fat area of the green, 
That'll be sort of some, uh, you know, 270 yards. That will take all the water out of play into a green that slopes back at you. Uh, so very good chance, even with a wedge in hand, to get the ball close. A good way to finish the front nine. Good-looking shot right here. Just an incredible shot. That is a very makeable putt after a great approach. Well played. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but Frank, we know it's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. Contact, good result. So this is going to be an interesting day. The wind is howling, or as they would say in Scotland, just a wee breeze. This one will play a little bit longer. It's up the hill to that green. Hide the flag stick from that man. Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under for the round. Now sitting at two under par. Second round coverage coming your way tomorrow for our entire crew. I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. So long for now. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the Tiburon Championship. Well, take a look at this site, Wolf Creek Golf Club. It is for real. Frank, I've never seen anything quite like this as we get set to call it for EA Sports. I'm Rich Lerner behind the mic, and we welcome you to this site that opened up back in 2000. It's a part of 72 with some elevated tees. Frank, what does the player need to look out for here at Wolf Creek? Well, everything. Um, try and keep your eyes on the fairways though. That's the only green thing apart on this magnificent uh, venue. It, it, it's hard to imagine you can play golf in this sort of area, but um, it's so well defined. Uh, obviously anything green is golf course and, and left or right of that, you're gonna find yourself in some problems, but um, really trying to judge the, the all the elevation changes. Ball's going to fly a little bit further in the thin air, but uh, it's amazing on the eye. Made par yesterday. This one for birdie. into the top 10 with that birdie. 
Now to the 16th hole as we get set for the finishing stretch. And Frank, what's the best way to play this relatively short par four? Somehow you've got to straighten the hole up in your mind's eye, Rich. Just look all the way across that canyon and look like the hole was built straight because really that's the way it uh, should be played. If you start looking left and turning it into a dog leg, then all of a sudden bad things can happen. So look straight at the green. That's your line. Just try and bisect those two fairway bunkers. Not quite what he wanted. Tee shot is in the bunker. All right, in the bunker now. Oh, it looked like he caught a flyer right there, Frank. Well, I don't know what he caught, but this is way too much. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is going to say, except him. See if he can get something going here. Two straight birdies. Oh, I thought he had that. Can't birdie them all, Rich. Locked in on the read and the speed. As is par. Now to the 17th, par five here at Wolf Creek Golf Club. Yeah, dog leg left, tee shot obviously has to be uh, played short of that, that creek down there. It's still gonna be a reachable hole, even though this hole's sort of around the 550, 560 mark. But because you've got to play short of that, that uh, stream, it's gonna leave a lengthy second shot and you've got to get the distance right on the button. I tell you, there's long and long, and, and that, with a little bit of breeze behind, it's long. He rode the wind there to payday. He's going to have a good look coming up. Good swing, good shot, yet again. You can't hide the flag stick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that. That never deviated offline. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Par yesterday, now for birdie. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Now the closing hold here at Wolf Creek. Frank, what's ahead of us? You could try and drive at this green, but there's too much trouble, really, Rich. Even though this hole's just over 300 yards, um, it's very ambitious to try and drive it across that water. Some might try. Most people try and hit a tee shot 240, 250 yards, Mark. And of course, if you do the maths, you're only going to have 60 or 70 yards in. And uh, well, they want you to finish on a good note. So good drive in the fairway here, or three wood. Pitch it on the green, make a three, and buy your friends a drink in the clubhouse. Drivable par four, not for most in this field, but for this guy, yes, he has just knocked it on. What a shot. He can't believe it, thought it was in. Just a couple of feet. He's made it. So that is a top 10 performance through two rounds, Frank. It's always nice to know that you have a shot with two rounds left in the tournament.
EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Tiburon Championship. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. This could be a good one. Well, that's how you play the game. Right there. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Player knows they're on the move with that birdie. Quick glance at the leaderboard. They can see, Frank, they're not out of it. Things are very volatile right now. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. How'd you like that strike? Uh, that was top of the tree. Settles in over the putt. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. When you've let one go, you've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. Support. Frank, a solid par right there, maintains his position. Par 5, 12th, and Frank, another reminder that Wolf Creek can really be intimidating. It, it can. Water down the left, uh, that'll take a huge dent off your scorecard. Uh, a lot of fairway down the right. Somehow find that this par 5 can be reachable in two. There's still trouble to the right of this green if you get a little bit cavalier. This, without doubt, the longest green on the golf course. It's 55 yards from front to back. Not the best shot, this one in the rough, but still will have a play from there. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. This is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Into the tall cabbage, that ball is swallowed up. Uh, Rich, you know, after it, you've already made one mistake in the rough, there's a chance he's going to make another. Just trying to get it back out into the fairway and not make a big number. That shot right there from that lie in the rough to knock it that close, that's good. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. One more birdie and now tied for the lead. 
13th hole here at Wolf Creek, and Frank, anyone can say, oh, I'm gonna take this one over the trees, but very few can stand up and say, I'm flying this baby clear over the mountains. Yeah, if you take the direct route, um, obviously it's gonna be much shorter than the 350 yards that it's measured as a dogleg right. So the direct line, well, I don't wanna tell you the exact yardage because it might give you too much of a clue, but it might be worth taking. It's gonna be a blind tee shot though, and you're not quite sure on the outcome. See a little bit off balance on the tee, and that one is going to be in the rough. Frank, better than we thought it was going to be. Yeah, that looked like it was headed for that thick stuff the whole way, but uh, a little fortunate. But then I guess you're allowed that in this game. That is classy. Not a chance of going in. And getting ready for the putt. Given the situation, Rich, things so tight at the top. Very, very good birdie. That was huge right there. Still with a great chance to come away with this title. Now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Oh, a solid strike right in the heart of the green. Repetitive is often what sounds boring. This is just shot after shot, and it's anything other than that. Spectacular. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Wow, I thought he made that. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect, but it's going to hurt the course. Good roll, solid. That's a par. There you have it. Round three is finished, and it was a good one, Frank. Yeah, after three rounds in, uh, you really could start to see who could take home the trophy when it's all said and done. Great play, though, up until this point. Uh, round four should be an absolute thriller. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Tiburon Championship. Today, we're here at Wolf Creek Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo for EA Sports set to bring you all the action out on the course. And Frank, what can you tell us about Wolf Creek? Well, it's a mesmerizing uh, layout. You can see from above, uh, you know, Rich, in amongst all these sort of canyon areas and 
bold, isn't it? I've never really seen a, a golf course like this. It's like Disneyland for the golfers. It, it's phenomenal, and each hole has a, a totally different look. It's hard to imagine you can build a golf course in an area like this. Now to the short par three, 15th hole here at Wolf Creek. What is this, Frank, just a wedge or a nine iron? That's all, Rich, but it's very tempting to get greedy here. And, uh, well, you pay the price, obviously, if you miss the, miss the, the green on the left down on those bunkers, because they're well, a good six, seven feet below the level of the green, but uh, with a wedge or a nine iron, who doesn't go aiming at the flat? Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, that's a full melody now. Just five feet left. Just continuing to play some really good golf. Eight under par for the championship. Now to the 16th hole as we get set for the finishing stretch. And Frank, what's the best way to play this relatively short par four? Somehow you've got to straighten the hole up in your mind's eye, Rich. Just look all the way across that canyon and look like the hole was built straight because really that's the way it uh, should be played. If you start looking left and turning it into a dog leg, then all of a sudden bad things can happen. So look straight at the green, that's your line. Just try and bisect those two fairway bunkers. Well, it is nice to have that one in your bag, to be able to hit it that long. Yeah, that has to be at least 315 yards. All right, Frank, what are you looking to do with this approach shot here at 16? Well, a good tee shot that sort of uh, split those two fairway bunkers should leave you a relatively, what looks like a straightforward short iron shot in. Um, distance control paramount once again here at 16, because this green has a lot of subtle undulations in it. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Not a gimme, but well within his range. And he has it for birdie. Out of the 17th, par five here at Wolf Creek Golf Club. Yeah, dog leg left, tee shot obviously has to be uh, played short of that, that creek down there. It's still gonna be a reachable hole, even though this hole's sort of around the 550, 560 mark. But because you've got to play short of that, that uh, stream, it's gonna leave a lengthy second shot and you've got to get the distance right on the button. Well, this looks good. Certainly is. Good tee shot right in the fairway and plenty long. And from the fairway for his second shot here. Giant putter heads, fat grips. What's happening with putter technology these days, Frank? One of the things they've done is face balance. That means the putter face doesn't rotate around, especially when it's not hit perfectly. So a putter that doesn't move around as much means it's gonna stay squarer. A putter that stays squarer means the ball's gonna go on line. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's gonna fly all the way. Big swing right there and a great result. And now a chance for a big swing in momentum with an eagle coming up. Locked in on the read and the speed. Pretty much doing everything right this week. 11 under for the tournament. Now the closing hold here at Wolf Creek. Frank, what's ahead of us? You could try and drive at this green, but there's too much trouble, really, Rich. Even though this hole's just over 300 yards, um, it's very ambitious to try and drive it across that water. Some might try. Most people try and hit a tee shot 240, 250 yard mark, and of course, you do the maths, you're only gonna have 60 or 70 yards in, and uh, well, they want you to finish on a good note. So a good drive in the fairway here, or three wood, pitch it on the green, make a three, and buy your friends a drink in the clubhouse.
Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. This looks like it's going to find the target. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to savor for the rest of the round. To win the Tiburon Championship. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Just a tremendous week of golf. And that, my friend, is a winner right there. Yeah, and he should be proud of himself, too. It took golf of the highest quality to beat this high-quality field, and uh, that is something that you will remember for a long, long time.